Iran News Now Iran's Political Future After Ebrahim Raisi's Death In today's newsletter, the president's death and six others crash leave foreign policy and succession uncertain. Good morning. A president's death is always significant, but in Iran, where five days of mourning are underway after Ebrahim Raisi's helicopter crash on Sunday, the ramifications are unclear. Many experts see Raisi as a potential successor to Ali Khamenei but also a man of little influence. Some argue his death will do nothing, while others say it could be a turning point with a presidential election coming up in 50 days. In the face of so much ambiguity, it may be helpful to acknowledge our ignorance. However, Raisi's presidency offers some important insights into the future. I asked Iran News website Amwaj.media editor Muhammad Ali Shabani to explain them. The headlines Five major tales Thousands of victims of the tainted blood crisis and their families will discover how ministers plan to compensate them after Rishi Sunak promised to pay whatever it costs. The idea will be revealed on Tuesday after Sir Brian Langstaff's assessment yesterday stated the disaster could largely, but not fully, have been avoided. WikiLeaks' Julian Assange has permission to challenge his extradition to the U.S. for disclosing military secrets. After hearing a U.S. prosecutor say the First Amendment may not protect foreigners' freedom of speech over national security reasons, two judges agreed he could be discriminated against. War between Israel and Gaza The International Criminal Court chief prosecutor wants to arrest senior Hamas and Israeli officials for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant are among them. UK News, a nursery worker was convicted guilty of killing a nine-month-old girl after strapping her face down to a beanbag for 90 minutes. Genevieve Meehan suffocated after Kate Ruffley, deputy manager of Tiny Toes Childcare in Cheadle Hume, Stockport, put her in mortal danger the trial heard. Trump trial, when Michael Cohen testified that he knew his $130,000 hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels violated federal election law, Manhattan District Attorney prosecutors rested their case on Monday. In depth, there won't be a big upheaval, but there is underlying worry about what's next in this article, Deepa Parent interviews Turanians on Ebrahim Raisi, who is not popular in Iran. However, his critics may not be optimistic today. You will discover as many varied feelings regarding his death as there are Iranians, added Shabani. But within my own networks, there may be a mix of individuals who don't see him as influential, so there won't be a major upheaval but also concern about what's next. This crash killed him, and here are some opinions on his position in Iran and the candidate search. Razi was born into a pious family in 1960 and attended a Shia seminary at 15. In this superb eulogy, Robert Tate says that his life was marked by violent events. He became a Tehran prosecutor after joining the 1979 mass protests against the western backed Shah that culminated to the Islamic Revolution. He was one of four judges on the 1988 Death Committee that executed hundreds of dissidents. The 2021 Iran Primer website offers a great post regarding Razi's part in that grim past. Raisi was a protege of Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and supported authoritarian actions during 2009 major uprisings. The reformist incumbent Hassan Rouhani defeated him in the 2017 presidential election. After becoming judiciary chief, Reza Raisi campaigned again in 2021 and handily defeated Rouhani and other moderate candidates. The lowest voter turnout since 1979 was just 49%. Shabani, the president's authority actually hinges on a popular mandate. In a semi-authoritarian regime, the Islamic Republic prides itself on high turnout as proof of legitimacy. That result doesn't look good with rivals barred. In any case, his win meant conservatives and hardliners controlled every major Islamic Republic power center. What was Razi's role in Iran? As formal issue, Shabani stated, there's a dual power structure in Iran, with an elected government and the supreme leader. Although Khamenei's authority is unquestioned, the president is the most powerful elected figure. The president presides over the Supreme National Security Council, which makes foreign policy decisions, but the supreme leader has veto authority. The president influences internal and foreign affairs, but he is not the only player. 
Peter Beaumont has penned pictures of Khamenei, his son Mojtaba, and temporary President Mohamed Mokbar. However, Shabani highlighted that Razi's formal role did not fully describe his authority. Much about the president's power and authority depends on the individual, he remarked. Razi prioritized domestic issues and was conservative. He was not considered personally significant partly due to electoral questions. What does his death entail for succession? Razi was considered a serious possibility to succeed Khamenei as supreme leader after his 85th death, despite his limited impact. Nobody actually knows which names are legitimate contenders for the succession, added Shabani. He may have been groomed, but we have little precedent for this. Only two supreme leaders since 1979. Khamenei ran after two terms as president, Razi ran with conservative support and failed. The best reason to consider Razi as a contender to succeed Khamenei, he said, is that he was being groomed as a person who could be controlled by the IRGC. If he was manageable, he wasn't irreplaceable. Some observers believe Razi's death clears the way for Khamenei's son, Mojtaba, to continue supporting regional proxy armies and developing a nuclear weapon. Shabani saw two perspectives on Iranian foreign policy under Razi. He did little for Iran's relations with Europe and the U.S. Nuclear deal revival hasn't occurred. Other connections have normalized, including with Saudi Arabia. After the Ukraine invasion, ties with Russia skyrocketed. Razi strengthened relations with Beijing, increasing oil exports and securing new Chinese investments in Iran. You can debate whether Razi would have done those things, but he had an impact. Shibani said. He has been more focused on Iran's neighbors and non-Western powers. Peter Beaumont argues that Khamenei's succession is more likely to cause a foreign policy shift than Razi's death.